Good morning students. Welcome to class 5 mathematics. The new chapter and the last chapter. Chapter 9 boxes and sketches. Already introduced by Sudip sir. Today I will discuss about views. Views means what? Suppose in a solid, we can see it from different sides and different from different sides, it looks like different. Here, I have taken a box. You can see, it is a solid 3D shape. Now, if I look from this side, it looks like a rectangle. If I look from this side, it looks like a square. Sorry, it looks like a circle. If I look from this side, it also looks like a circle. And from this side, it is a rectangle type. So from different sides, the same object, 3D object looks different. And you can see each views, it is a circle, it is a two dimensional view. It looks like two dimensional figure. If I look from this side, it looks like also two dimensional figure. It looks like a rectangle. If I look at this side, it looks like a 2D object that is circle. But it's a 3D object. It's a 3D object. Now, if I take this object, if I look from this side, it looks like a rectangle. If I look from this side, it looks like a rectangle. If I look from this side, it also looks like a rectangle. If I look from this side, we can't see the other sides. So it looks like rectangle. So only one side is visible, but it is a solid figure, solid object, but its views from different sides are looks like two dimensional figure. So here, so here are, in each of the figure, there are three views. One is the top views, side views, and front views. Top views, side views, and front views. Top views is what? When I look any object from the top. Side views, when you look at the object from the side. And front views, when I look at the object, at the front. So, three different views are there. In each of these cases, you have to choose the correct views. Here, each object is three-dimensional. It has a length, it has a breadth, it has a height. But as the page is two-dimensional page, so we have draw the three-dimensional three figure in this way. 
it has the length it has the breadth it has the height now in each of these case we have to think about different views and we have to select the correct option here the heading is choose the image corresponding to the specified views now you can see here number 1 this is the image of three dimensional object it is the top view it is the side view it is the front view now you here three options are given and here is written side view so in these three options which one is side view that is if i look the diff object from this side it is the side view in which part we can see so we can see only this part we can see only this part so option a is the correct option option a is the correct option now number 2 another object is there top view side view front view now in this case also we have to choose the we have to find out the side view now side view this this side now if i look from this side we can see this part we can see this part that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 rows and 2 columns 6 rows and 2 columns so in this 3 option option B is the correct one now number 3 here is the object top view side view front view we have to choose the front view now front view means if i look at the object from this side so in this ways we can see only this part we can see only this part so one two three four four rows one two three four four columns so in this case two rows four uh, four rows two columns here four columns two rows here four rows four columns so option c is the correct one next number four here top view side view front view so we have to choose the side view so from side view now you can easily understand which one is the correct option from side view here are three rows and two columns so three rows and two columns so option b is correct so in this way we have to choose the correct views now here are some homework about today's discussion option a number a choose the 2d shape that corresponds to the specified view here figure of the three dimensional shape has given and options are given so this is number one everyone at first draw the figure and with options in your copy then choose the correct option number one it is number two is number three this is number four 
and this is number 5 so everyone at first draw the figure in your copy then choose the correct option